slowed down the return of so many of yeah. our favourite TV shows, but thankfully things are finally getting back on schedule. Now, after two very long years, the wait is finally over for fans of Outlander and actor Sam Hewen. His time-travelling, swashbuckling romp across our screens is back with a bang. Oh, and Sam is here now. Welcome back. Welcome oh, back. It's nice to see you. Bro. Good to have you here, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Last time, well, I was. Uh, we were online. So yeah, down the line. It's Finally, you're back here. in here. Yeah. This is, I mean, all very exciting. You've kept mm. us waiting. Series six. Uh, for you, you're like, this is unbelievable, really, because you weren't sure from series one whether it was ever going to go any further than that. Yeah, so yeah, years I, in. Think, uh, I think when I first signed on, I remember saying to my driver, on, it was like, it won't last more than a year, you know, one season. And uh, here we are, you know, six seasons Why? later. Why? Why would you think that? I, I'm not sure. I just, I, maybe I was trying to, you know, trick myself into not thinking about the, the road ahead, but... Mm. Um, it's just, it's just been such a, an amazing journey, you know, six years, or six seasons, uh, eight years, um, and, and here we are now. So what are. do you think, from that day when you were, you know, talking to colleagues, oh, I'm not sure I can see this working, <laughs> you know, it's not going to go on for very long, at yeah. what point did you think, oh, God, hang on a second, this is huge? Yeah, it was probably, well, so t tonight is our premiere in London, and it's our first time we've actually had a premiere in the UK, so we're so excited, and I think... Probably it was the first time we had a premiere from season one in America and just seeing, you know, the audience there, the fans there, the anticipation. Mm. Um, and I love, I love this build up, you know, we've put so much work into this and, and had so many things, so many hurdles to jump over from COVID and, yeah. and, and, and the winter and shooting in Scotland. So it, it is so exciting. So it's a really nice reward. So let's talk about where it begins, because we pick up from series five. And obviously, Claire has been dealing with this horrific assault that she's been through. And then there's the PTSD that follows that. So she's battling with this. Jamie himself, there's this sort of war of independence, which is threatening, and he's struggling mm -hmm. with that mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. there is a lot going on here. Yeah, I think you did pretty well there. Thank I you. mean, I mean there's a, there is a lot going on. And look, I mean, it's great escapism, isn't it? Yeah. Everything that's going on in the world right now. But hopefully, you know, people can jump into our story. And, and there is, you know, there's the war of independence looming. Um, Claire is suffering from this, this trauma that she's suffered. And then we have these incredible new characters coming in called the Christies. Mm -hmm. And they are very doer. They're not the people you'd invite around for dinner. They are, they're, a, they're a very troublesome family. And they really sort of start the, the beginning of the, the, uh, just, uh, the breaking of the continuity mm -hmm. and, and the right. peace in Fraser's Ridge. And so there are for, for him, I mean, there are sort of threats coming from all directions. Yes, everywhere. I mean, yeah, at home, uh, outside, he's also been uh, instructed to work for the Crown. And obviously he knows Claire's from the future, so he knows that, you know, they're on the wrong side, the Crown, the British are going to lose. So mm. they know that, that at some point they have to swap sides. Mm. His life is so stressful. Right? Whenever I'm watching, I'm just I know. like, oh my God, they never get like a quiet moment. I, that's all he wants is to be at home with his family, you know, yeah. have a quiet dram. And actually, what's happening is, I, I would just say, never marry someone from the future. I, I don't think. <laughs> okay, I good don't job. think it's the way to a peaceful life. <laughs> doesn't work out well. No, doesn't work I was out. just thinking then when you said, was it? It's obviously six seasons, but um, eight years yeah. in the making. Yeah. There was the and then there was a gap for yeah. for the pandemic. But you and Catriona Bolf, who, who, who uh, plays opposite you, I mean, very new in the game when you first started. Right. So you've yeah. sort of, your careers have grown as through this series. Absolutely. You know, we were very green and, you know, we, we didn't really know, as I said earlier, we didn't really know where this was going to go. And now, you know, it's going to be a decade by the time we finish the, the next season. So, so 10 years together, we are like oh. this, uh, I don't know, it's this, this great friendship we've got, much like yourselves, you know. Um, we're sort of like this... Uh, couple that have sort of grown together. Yeah. And you've both gone on to have such great success in other areas as well with her with Belfast, which obviously was incredible. Yeah. You're also doing this film. In fact, you've got a couple of things coming up. You've got the Channel 4 crime series. Mm. This is with James Nesbitt. Right. And so this kind of works where there's um, sort of guest actors coming for each episode. That's right, yeah. You filmed all that now. That's yeah, okay. yeah. I filmed it in November, but it's, it's an incredible... Um, each episode is a two-hander, so... Jolie Richardson, Anne-Marie Duff, uh, Richard E. Grant. Brilliant. Um, Neve Algar. So, so each episode is yeah, a sort of two-hander with whoever the actor is and Jimmy Nesbitt. And it, it's, it's a really, really cool, really dark uh, police drama. Mm. Mm. So one great. of the other things I think you're doing is, uh, is text for you. Yes. Um, so this sounds, there's another intriguing idea. So uh, the young woman's fiancé dies. Uh, she continues to text his phone yes and right. uh, and then the person who has now acquired that number um, there is something between the two of them right and 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 in a way falls in love with this this anonymous texter um, it's uh 
It's a new movie, it's a, a rom-com, it's with Priyanka Chopra, who is, I have to say, one of the most beautiful, amazing people I've ever worked mm. with. She's just gorgeous. And, and congratulations to her recently, because I know that they've just had a, a child, her and, yeah. and, and Nick. However, looking at that film and what, you know, all the things that stand out, Celine Dion's acting debut. Right. I mean, isn't it something we've always wanted to see? I know, Celine yes, Dion definitely. acting. What the hell? I know. Um, she is. She's in the movie. She's incredible. She. Uh, she's very funny. It's a. It's a rom com. She's really good, and she's also supplying a lot of the music as well. So. Ah, there's, there's uh -huh. a good scene. got it. Yeah, got it. Got it. Got so. it. Should we talk whiskey? Come on, let's talk whiskey. I think we all need a dram. So. I think we yeah. all do. So this Saturday, is your own. Yeah. This That's is right. your own whiskey, and it's, it's winning awards. It's doing brilliantly. Yeah, it's done really well. We've we've been going out um, almost two years, and we've won multiple. Gold medals. It's a, a blended Scotch, and I'm, I'm really proud of it. So very nice. Um, and you've got tequila on the way. Tequila. I heard you're a tequila fan. Yeah. I would have brought you some. So I will. I will drop some off for you because uh, yes, we've also please. just won an award for that. But uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a passion of mine. It's something to do outside of acting. Well, whiskey is a passion of mine as well. So um, ah, did you bring a so bottle? Much in common. I brought a couple of bottles. Marvelous. So you can in which take case, one home with you. Well, uh, it's really kind. We'll put it over there, and I'll see if it goes with cupcake. With cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it probably Everything does. Goes uh, it's with lovely cake. to see you. Thank, Thank you for bringing you. the bottle. Thank you very much. Outlander returns on the 6th of March on Stars Play. Finally. Uh, and that's season six. Season seven has been confirmed. It has, and we'll start shooting pretty soon. Amazing. Brilliant. Thanks, brilliant. Sam. Thank you.